I can kind of tell your uh, families and friends, a lot of them support, support, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. That's See, that's, that's one of my top homies. You hear me? That's my best friend, actually. That's what's up. He, uh... When he moved away after, uh, like, we grew up from shorties and shit, and shit so he moved away with, um, in high school. All right. So after, after I graduated, he moved, whatever, we, he came back one time, and he, he heard I do music. I, he been rap. All right. So he like, get on this song. Yeah, I got on the song. Not He just keeps, get on the song, get on the song. Get on. Right. I just, yeah. all right. Every time he say go to the studio, he yeah, had yeah. me in the studio like he my manager. You hear me? Yeah. He, Come nah, on. But but that's good though that you have that that male presence with you because we know this is a male dominated business. Yeah. So by him keeping that male presence ar around you, that'll keep the vultures and the bullshit away from you. And see, that's that's the thing about that. Like, that's the thing about that. I I like that part of people not believing that girls can have homies like mm -hmm. dudes like. Yeah, absolutely. I'm one of them who grew up with all my boy cousins. It was me and my other girl cousin. Okay. It was just us two with all the guys. All right, all right. We getting hit with rocks, getting hit with whatever, doing, <laughs> jumping on the back of semi trucks. Come on now, the 18 wheelers. Yeah. We girls. We girls. Doing this it, as kids. Right. We jumping gates, hitting backflips on mattresses and shit. Right, right. Like, come on now. No, nah, nah, females can <laughs> definitely have a, 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 a male... Uh, Partner for as a platonic relationship, you know. Yeah, what I'm like saying? it ain't none of that it sexual yeah, anything not, intimate. None of that. That's my dog. Like yeah. that's my brother. It ain't. I keep telling people it ain't always about no ink and one of these shit. Man, you man, know man, what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, that be insecurity. That's on them. I can't stop that. Like yeah. I, I'm telling you what it ain't. Absolutely. I'm telling you what it is. Right, right. That's on you to believe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. For you to take it up on your own. Yeah, yeah, man. Definitely, man. I know you've been watching. The the media and all that you see uh what happened to uh what's that brother name the football brother Demar, Demar. Damn, you seen that that was crazy man it's weird it's how it's he weird. he young as hell and he just collab but I ain't gonna lie dude hit him hard as hell though I yeah bro I thought it was a vaccine or something well people were saying. It was the, the the vaccine is the cause of it because he got hit on a play and then he stood up and he just fell backwards. So, you know, people just saying like, you know, getting that vaccine shot might be the a reason they of... trigger a trigger part of it. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But no, it, it, they not just saying the vaccine did that to him. But no, he actually got hit on a play and got up and stood up for maybe three seconds and just fell backwards. And they said it. He went into cardio, but like I say, dude did hit him extremely hard, bro. And football is a danger. You know that's the most dangerous sport. It's football. Football is the most dangerous sport, How man. Is it? Contact yeah. too much contact. And then I seen some stuff with Charleston Whitehead made some comments about him, talking about f him and this and that, and I was like. What's I, what, dude? Uh, like he, man, I was. He I, be reaching though. Like he, at first, yeah, it was funny. Yeah. At first, it was funny for you was being real. Reaching. Now you reaching. You doing too much. Like right. You. He made a good point. Like, what about the kids, though? I mean, I understand what about the kids. But shit this happens. Is, this but is life. Have, yeah, this life. This life. You gonna just base well, life on one thing? Have. We worried about the kids. We worried about motherfuckers dying. What yeah, you mean? We worried about everybody. You know like, what I'm saying? Right. Not just putting it on the kids. And I think he used What's, that kid shit as a yeah, way to yeah. kind of, you know what I'm saying? Try to smooth the blow sympathy, a little bit. Right? He ain't got no sympathy for him. Yeah, for grown for. But let something happen to him, he gonna want people to have sympathy for him. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So I, I, I really didn't like the comment that he made about that brother because I haven't seen that brother do no negativity. I, I see why he go at the rappers. We understand the games, blah, 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 blah. But where did, did where did he where did he where did he go? What did he say? He just he was on a, a podcast, uh, and dude said uh something about Demar and he just was like, fuck him. Fuck him. I don't give a fuck about no football player. That nigga, and woo, 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 woo. What about the kids that's dying every day? Okay, all right, them kids die every day. Man, man, them kids. <laughs> you know? Like, I just didn't like how he came at dude, and dude ain't did nothing to nobody. So I it's mean, like, 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 come on, and bro. And then, do you know, dude? 
Like, yeah, like that's like they don't even. Man, he wasn't raised like that. But like I say, he he milking the game. He milking the internet. I get it. He getting to his bag. So, but I ain't gonna play with death. You feel me? That's just one thing I'm not gonna do. I ain't gonna play with that. And I feel like that's playing with death when you start reaching and calling people out their names that you don't know, ain't had no no type of interaction with these people. So, hey, you gotta definitely to tone that down. Man, are you uh, doing features with uh, any female artists on this side, or on St. Louis side? Have you tapped um, in with anybody? I mean, I got songs already with a couple females, a few of them. Okay. Damo, Damo Diamonds. Uh, I think I heard of her too. Nige the Vibe. Oh, is, is it easier working with females or is it hard? Or is it better working with, with those guys? two, it be real simple because they, I mean, they like me with it. Like, come they, on, let's they, do it. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, not. And we gonna do it like this. The chemistry, the chemistry be, the chemistry be right. 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 Absolutely. That's, that's Absolutely. pretty, ain't it? Yeah, she on her home decor shit. <laughs> that, that's what's up. That's what's up. I know you've been seeing, of course, everybody been knowing about the YSL case and all Gunner oh, and Thugger <laughs> and just going crazy with it, man. What's your take on, on Thugger, man? And 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 Gunner, man. You you feel man. like he 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 did the did the do or you giving him a pass? The little short dude? Yeah, gonna. I don't know. I don't know. I had to I had to really I think I think how he get okay, I don't I don't know. How, how he get He got five years. How? He got five what everybody years. Else? And he took he, that was his basic probation type of thing. He took five years with his plea. You know what I'm saying? Basically admitting to, you know, all And his, you admitted to, what you admit to? Saying, you know, uh, YSL is a no. gang and, you know, all that no. old type of stuff. Like, it no, it was crazy. No, I'm saying, like, what you what you admit to? If you admit to, what you admit to, you tell him. Well, right. <laughs> if you admit to, you tell him. What yeah, you admit to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. That's what everybody else was saying. Like, <laughs> like you admit to it, you tell him. You well, I mean, I mean, that's... Yeah. Mm, that's that, way back when. Absolutely. And you got uh T I and uh Birdman brother and them, they telling on dead. Telling on uh, Nah, uh, see, look, that that is listen. If I was to go today, mm-hmm. put that shit on me dog. <laughs> Somebody else. Put that Somebody shit else. on me and you gonna go free. Don't do no dumb shit no more. Yeah, you yeah. know what not to do. Put yeah. that shit on me. Somebody else said the same. Matter of fact, uh, Darren STL said the same thing. Uh, what? Because all we got to do is make sense of everything. That you doing that YSL shit? You know the shit. The shit. The fuck the fuck up. Uh, right. Now you know that. But <laughs> if he, your homie died, he come on now. <laughs> right. He did that. He that was yeah. That was his. And that's what Darren said. He's like, shit. I'm telling all my homies right now. If I die and y'all do something, put it on me. You know what I'm saying? You know. Right now, you but mean? but I'ma tell you, this is how the game is looked upon. It don't matter what it is, you don't tell on nothing. I don't give a damn if you're dead on the hospital bed. You don't give no information to the authorities. That is the way with you know the generations that of sense. snitching. Look, that makes sense, but yeah. but, I, but I get what you saying, though. It makes sense. Like, man, he did. Can, yeah, my partner, he did that. You know what I'm saying? What can what you gonna do? You gonna you gonna shoot to the you know what I'm saying the, yeah. the other side and go grab him and you know charge him? So I, I definitely get it, but people just saying like, hey, ain't just no. Just don't hold your mouth, I I see that too.